What's going on, AJ? How you feeling after the win tonight? I'm good, man. Um, little little rust. It's been about a year, but uh, you know, you got the unanimous decision, so uh, I'm happy. You know, it's nice to get back in there and put on a great show. Um, obviously, I wasn't too excited with the way it went, but it's kind of hard to get somebody off you that's trying to hold you down the whole time. Speaking of ring rust, how did you uh, feel in there? Did you feel any ring rust tonight? Um, not really. I wouldn't say ring rust. Um, you know, just wrestling, I guess, you know, it, it's, it's one of my strong suits, but at the same time, it's hard to kind of adjust and get somebody off of you. That's literally just trying to lay on you. You know, I try to bait him a couple of times by dropping the guard, giving him an opportunity to pass guard. He didn't want to pass guard or anything. So, uh, it's just little adjustments, you know, got to go back to the drawing board and, and continue to grow and continue to work new things. Was there any point in the fight where you realized that you'd have to try to win from the bottom position where you just knew, you know, he'd be on top of you and you would have to figure out how to win from the bottom? Um, definitely. That That's always my key, you know, keep the guard open, give him the opportunity to pass if he wants to pass. Um, you know, it, it doesn't show that you're trying to win the fight off your back if you're holding your guard closed and you're not throwing punches. So uh, my main thing is leave the guard open. If he wants to pass, I'll let him pass. But at the same time, just stay active. You know, uh, that's my main thing. Be active. I felt like I could have done a little bit more output. But uh, like I said, it's it's hard to get somebody off you. that's just trying to hump your leg the whole time. Yeah. Speaking of that last question for me, what would you rate or how would you uh, assess the performance put forth by Sid? Do you think that's a, you know, a decent way to come in and try to beat a guy like you? Um, it was a good performance. You know, wrestling is, is that's, that's the thing with wrestling. If you can take somebody down and get them to the ground at any point in the fight, um, I feel you can win the fight, but you, you got to cause damage. You know, that, that's the main thing is, is damage. You know, who's more active, at the end of the day, it's like a sport. You know, the stats really matter. How many punches are landing? Who's com causing damage? And who's trying to give the fans entertainment? Because this is the entertainment world. So, uh, overall, I, I wouldn't say I was too happy with my performance. You know, laying off for a year almost and then coming back to a, a laying on my back decision is not the way I wanted it. Um, especially trying to get back in that tournament, you know. Um, obviously, being out with staff infection and then getting right back into the gym, into a full training camp. Um, it's just been continu continuous training and training and training, you know. So to go out there and have a performance like that, uh, I, I wasn't too happy with myself. But obviously, I thank the creator and the Lord for uh, giving me the victory. AJ, um, obviously the, the elephant in the room for a few months now is what's going on with, with Bellator. Is it going away? This is all you've ever known, man. What goes through your head as you're preparing for this fight because you just mentioned i hope i get back in the tournament we don't know if 302 exists let alone, you know after tonight so how do you kind of reconcile that if you're trying to prepare for a fight when you might not know when your next one's going to be or where it's going to be um i would say just focused on the job that's at hand you know that was my whole thing was going there and and prove that i want to be in that tournament you know prove that that I'm the man to win that that Grand Prix belt, you know, finish the mercenaries hit list, as I call it. Um, it's just not it's not a regular world title. You know, it's got eight names on that belt, one of them, including mine. So. Excuse me, I feel anybody that uh, anybody that wants that belt, they got to they got to walk through me, you know, so to be in that tournament, um, obviously, Usman's out. Um, but yeah, that Grand Prix belt is where it's at for me. And and if Bellator doesn't exist anymore and there's no grand prix to to finish off like what what would happen with you then i mean obviously you're going to go somewhere else you're going to you're going to get work i feel like you're going to be okay yeah but but i guess what mentally do you have to work through to to not have to think about that kind of stuff as you're trying to get ready to you know to take this guy on man um i don't know that it's you know that's where i just have to wait and see so this fight in particular, this is why I wanted to come out and try to get a finish, you know, um, just so I could solidify like, hey, I'm here and, and this is what I'm working for is to finish people. But um, things work in mysterious ways. They don't always work out the way that you plan. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I know the man upstairs has a plan for me bigger, 
or more than anything I can understand. So for me, it's just stay prayed up and continue to walk one foot in front of another. AJ, congrats on the win. Uh, mercenary, obviously, you know the definition of that. And I know you weren't happy with the result from yourself or your performance, but you painted the canvas with his blood, uh, you know, with those elbows. What kind of sense of pride do you have knowing like, yes, my best performance, but to be on your back and to be so effective and, and have so much damage, do you take away from this fight? Um, well, that's mercenary. You know what I mean? <laughs> Wherever you put them, they're good at, you know, they're, they're going to make sure that the job gets done. Um, sometimes the job can be a little sloppy. Sometimes the job can be neck, neck deep, but, uh, at the end of the day, you just, you got to continue to persevere and fight through and fight on. Um, this is one of those fights where I could have fought another three rounds like that. You know, I wasn't tired. I, I wish I could have had a little more output, but I don't know. That, that's the most frustrating part for me, you know, um, is just having somebody lay on me like that. So um, for me, it's when I get back in the gym, I have one of the best wrestlers in the world, Joey Davis, around me. So it's a matter of just getting him to lay on or to get him off of me. <laughs> you know, um, it was it was different. You know, I, I tried to play a little bit of butterfly guard, elevate the legs, but he sat back heavy. So elevating the legs is going to be hard to do. But then when I sit up, he's still sitting back. You know what I mean? So it, it's, if you haven't been in that position and you haven't had somebody that's willing to just take whatever you're doing and get beat up to hold you down, um, you don't really, you're not going to understand, but uh, it's my job to figure out how to get better and do better in those situations. So uh, as soon as I get back to the gym, you know, I'm going to sit down with my father and uh, we're going to figure out how to, how to do better at that. Last one for me, you were obviously just asked about the future of this promotion. A few years back, I talked to you in one of your first fights here in Chicago. You said you wanted to be the Floyd Mayweather here in Bellator. And you've gone on, you've won a million dollar Grand Prix. You've won a you know championship. You've done so much. And this is, as was mentioned, this is the home you've known. What kind of sense of legacy and pride do you take and attach AJ McKee and Bellator? Man, this is... You know, everything that I've been built off of, everything I know has been through Bellator. This is my home. Um, so to see it go away, um, it's it's sad. But at the same time, you know, um, it's just all business for me at this point. You know, the Bellator is like a home to me. Everybody here, the whole organization, the staff, everybody's just very loving. Everybody caters to what needs to be done and they help out like a team, you know. So um, to see that whole family orientated scenario go away um i'm a little bummed you know but um you just like i said you keep one foot in front of another and you keep walking yeah this journey this journey's not going to stop it's just going to continue to go and go and go you know so i like i said i wish everybody the best in bellator um i hope everybody's taken care of everybody's okay and uh you know it's always peace and love and blessings for me thank you hey jack so your activity from the bottom has been something that most other fighters haven't been able to replicate in MMA. Is that something that you're constantly drilling in the gym and trying to make sure that if you do end up on your back, that you're going to be able to still win a fight? Um, I think it's a good key to have. It's not something I really drill. It's something I know I have just by nature. Um, it's the will to fight, the will to, to just continue to go. And, um, yeah, that's that's like my my ace in my pocket, you know. It's something I know I can always rely on. Um, so it's really just trying to figure out how to adapt new ways into my uh into my arsenal. And I wanted to ask what your thoughts were on the Bellator semifinal, Alexander Shabley versus Patricky Pitbull. What did you think about Shabley's performance if you saw it at all? It was a great performance. Um great, great fight for him, you know. He he beat Patricky in, in, in a fashionable way. Um flawless victory so uh you know before the tournament he said he wanted to fight so you know hopefully i get back in that tournament and we get to put on the show that he wants to put on and i get to collect that belt that i've always wanted it'd what's be up, a great one what's up aj how you doing good and yourself have, good, pretty good have you ever been covered in that much of another man's blood and did that affect the grappling or anything like that throughout the fight no i don't think I've been covered in some nasty blood before, but I think that was, that was probably that was probably the worst. I literally went and showered and I was spitting his blood up. I was like, oh, I know I'm not bleeding, but this is kind of gnarly. Um, it was uh it was different. But uh no, nah, it doesn't blood actually gets very sticky. I don't know if you've you noticed know, cuts dry up and stuff. 
um, it gets sticky. So it, it wasn't really too slippery, but it was everywhere. That's Pretty gross. Sure. Yeah, it's, it's part of the game. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and then lastly, you've kept a, somewhat of a low profile as of late. And of course, you're an amazing fighter, but you mentioned the word entertainment. I feel like you're an entertainer at your core. You've always entertained all the fans and attendants around the world. Do you still want to be like the face of the fight game or are you just focused on racking up wins or do you want that, you know, that face of the fight game title? Um, I'd love to be the face of the fight game, you know, not just for myself, but for my family, the legacy, um, my father's career. I got a six-year-old brother. I got a 17-year-old brother, you know, so uh, it's really just passing on for the younger generations and trying to make an example for them and show them what and how to work, including all the guys down at Body Shop. Um, just show them how to work, you know. The same way I fought that fight, they see me do that in the gym day in, day out. So they know, like, okay, if it goes here, this is what we can at least expect, you know. He's not going to stop. He's going to continue to come. But um, it's entertainment, you know. That's why that third round, I was ready to get back out there. And I wanted to stand up a little bit, you know. But every kick I threw, he caught it and went into a takedown. Um, and I should have known that was coming. I kind of knew it was coming. But um, it's just back to the drawing board, man. Back to the drawing board. And, uh, yeah, continue to grow. Grow and show. Congrats on another big win. Thank you for all Thank the great you. things you've done for this promotion over the years. Thank you. I appreciate it. Salute, Bellator. Thank you, guys.